Go ahead, and, go ahead and ventilate. He breathes and has blood pressure and a pulse. He's Simman, a robotic patient that is changing how tomorrow's nurses are trained. One of the first Simman units is online at Case Western Reserve University's Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing. The simulator can present most types of patient emergencies for students to treat. Karen Johnson Guy is a senior nursing student and says Simman has made a big difference in her nursing education. I do feel like I've worked on a patient after working on Simman. Simman breathes on its own. Simman has a uh, heart rate, has uh, palpable pulses. Being able to practice on a robot um, instead of actually having to practice on a human life does matter. I can become more, of, more proficient um, practicing on a robot. Interactive computers are also teaching future nurses everyday skills like drawing blood in a virtual reality environment. That hurt more than I thought it would. The system lets students feel sensations like skin resistance during a training session and will even let them know if something goes wrong. That really hurt. John Clossy, a professor of nursing, says the virtual patients give students the confidence to be better nurses. Whether it's cath sim or sim man, the students really can go through the same situation over and over and over again if they choose. And many students learn better that way. Students minimize their anxiety before they get into the clinical situation. They can practice things before they have to do it with a real patient. Another student one day said, if I would have done that to a real life patient, they might have been harmed or they might have died and it was okay because they didn't kill Sim Man and we jokingly say, well you did, but he comes back to life on a regular basis. Judging by its success, Clossy expects to see patient simulators like Sim Man in nursing schools across the country. This is Dave Narosny reporting from Case Western Reserve University, Cleveland.